Hello everyone, um, I'm here today because I want to start a little bit of a vlog kind of thing. Um, so there were two books that I bought last year um, when I was in, on holidays in Portugal and I want to read them. Um, and I thought it would be fun to just read them together because I think they're kind of connected um, and discuss them here and because they are kind of chunky and kind of dense I don't think discussing them at the end might have the same depth so I thought I might make some bit of a blog. Uh, so the first one is Libro del Desasosiego by Fernando Pessoa. I don't know how it's translated in English uh, but yeah this is in Spanish I bought it in in this book um, and the only thing I know it's like deeply philosophical and it's kind of like in Lisbon. And then the other one that I have is the Year of the Death of Ricardo Reis by Saramago. This is Saramago and this is about someone that knows Pessoa and kind of follows Pessoa in Lisbon and stuff. So that's why I thought they will be connected to each other and it will be a good idea to read them together. However, I think that they are both very dense. I mean, this is not... it doesn't look that bad, but it is very philosophical and this one i mean saramago likes the block of text kind of style um and i know he's very dense so i might read some other things in between these two but um they uh, they're also a little bit intimidating for me because they are so dense and so big i mean this one is not that big this is like 360 pages but the Pessoa one is like 650 pages, so they're intimidating. And I, I thought I might do this in a warmer month that makes me feel more like I'm in Portugal. But I like to read my more intimidating books at the beginning of the year so that I don't get more and more intimidating as the year goes by. So these are the books that I'm going to be reading in this vlog. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Uh, I think I'll be able to start this tonight. Uh, it's Sunday today, Sunday of the 4th of February. Um, I had quite a busy week. My parents were here. They just left like a couple of hours ago. Um, so I thought it would be a good time to start this vlog and start reading this. Um, another thing that I might do during this vlog, I don't know, depends on how much time I have. Um, I also got this vegan recipe book from Portugal uh, when I was there and I thought it would maybe be fun to try to make some of the things here when I read Portuguese books. So yes, this is the plan for this vlog. I have no idea how long this is gonna be, probably a couple of weeks long, uh, but we will see. Um, I don't have anything too deep to do today, it's 3 in the afternoon. I'll probably have to clean, hang the laundry that you might be hearing. It's going on now. I have to go to the supermarket so that we are stuck for the rest of the week. Uh, but I'm planning to take a chill afternoon because I really need it. Um, and yeah, I will update you when I have something else to say. Hello, so it's a few days later. It is um, Thursday today <laughs> um, and it just has been a really busy week with work and Alex and everything so I can update you before and I have also not read a whole ton of this. I'm in page 124. Um, so yeah, this is... I don't know how to describe it because it doesn't really have a plot or any one thing. It's kind of like random little bits of thoughts. Like if you see here, uh, this is kind of one chapter, there are longer, there are smaller ones, but it's kind of like a page of random thoughts um, for like the 100 pages I've read basically. Um, and I'm finding it like it's very poetic and very beautiful and all of that, but the thoughts themselves are not that um, deep, it's just like very random thing. Um, so for example there was a part that was about time and like the age of a rock and how long that is, stuff like that, that is not like super super deep. Um, so I am reading it and I'm enjoying the writing, it's actually quite easy to consume, um, but 
I'm not retaining anything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know how much I, I'm I'm taking out of this. Uh, one thing that I found interesting is that at the beginning um, there is a prologue by the translator of this edition and apparently this was like translated from a handwritten document so there were like scribble bits and there were like crossed out bits and there are bits that the, the translator is like I tried my best to know what was written but sometimes it's very difficult so if you see something in parentheses like I didn't really know what that was that about or like there is also the little squares I don't know if you can see there uh, probably not, but there's like little squares in the middle of the text. It's like, but because it was handwritten, we don't really know exactly what it was saying. Um, so yeah, I'm finding it, I guess, not difficult, not as difficult to read as I thought. But also, I have no wish to pick it again up because there is nothing like engaging. There's, I'm not engaged with characters or plot or anything because there are no characters or plot or anything. So yeah i don't know we will see we will see um it is as i said thursday today i don't work on thursdays uh, we went to the swimming pool this morning and i have been doing some chores and admin bits um i have still a couple of admin bits to do and i have to hang laundry whenever that is done but other than that um I am free until alex wakes up again um so i, I that's probably going to be in like half an hour 45 minutes uh, so I think I might sit with this and read a little bit I might also take a nap because I'm really tired but we will see I might read some of this um, and then in the afternoon we need to go to the hardware store because I don't know you probably relate as a reader but um, I'm running out of space in my shelves um, and there are a couple of things that I can put on other shelves but I need to install other shelves somewhere else so that they can put you know like the photo albums and stuff like that there um so that i have more space for my books um so yeah i need to go to the hardware store to get some bits to do that i have the wood already um, but i have i need like the things to put the, the shelves on um and then probably i will do that this weekend and then i can maybe film it and show it to you so yeah that's the plan <laughs> um i'll catch you up when i have anything else to say hello everyone um it's a friday night i just put alex to bed um and i just thought i will come here to update you on my reading a little bit um i am now 200 pages into uh, the pessoa book and my feelings are very similar this is kind of a diary of um, this man that is effectively pessoa and it's just like very very random thoughts <laughs> and there was for a second like a couple of chapters or like four or five pages where he w we were following like him falling in love with a woman that turns out to be married and I finally thought like oh finally we have some sort of like storyline or something to bite our teeth into now but then after five pages it finishes and we go back to the completely random thoughts um so yeah i'm not loving this to be honest uh, i'm just finding it like I, I don't get the point uh so i'm actually thinking that i might start the saramago one um because even though i know this is going to be very dense i also know that it's going to have a bit more of a bite to it than this so my idea is maybe i will read like a couple of chapters of this and when i need a break from from how dense it is then I can switch and read like maybe 20-30 pages of this and go back and forth uh, reading two books at one time is not my favorite way to read uh, but I know that if I continue just reading this I'm going to struggle so much to finish this um, and I'm going to take like two three weeks <laughs> to finish just this so I'm thinking I might read both of these at the same time and because this is so episodic it's not really like I'm gonna get confused or anything because there's no really anything to follow um, so yeah those are my thoughts I think I might start this one tomorrow um, 
As I said, it is around 8 on Friday and I am, I have a call with a friend that I haven't talked to for a really long time so we're just gonna chat um, and see each other and all of that and honestly whenever we do that it takes us two or three hours so I don't think I'm going to read much today um, but uh, yeah tomorrow sh I have not much plans. I was planning to go to the market but actually my husband went to the supermarket early this morning so maybe I don't need to do that anymore. We have enough fruits and all of that stuff. Um, and then I want to go to the hardware store because on I told you I was going to go on Thursday but when Alex woke up from her nap it was pouring down so much and I was really not in the mood to go anywhere and she was also not in the mood to go anywhere so we just sit in the sofa and watch a movie instead. Um, so I still have to go to the hardware store, uh, so I might do that tomorrow and maybe put up the shelves tomorrow itself, I don't know, we will see. Uh, but those are the rough plans that I have for now. Uh, but now I have to go call my friend, so I'll see you later. shelves for um, for our uh, album so that I can free some space in my bookshelves where they are currently living. Um, so I didn't read a whole ton when Alex was sleeping because I was doing that and I have just been reading uh, bits of this here and there because that's when I had time but I am now on page 307 so I'm almost halfway through. I haven't started the other um, Saramago book because I, I didn't have a, like a consistent chunk of time to read until like an hour ago so yeah I I have been reading this basically and I ha my feelings are very similar there was a bit about his love for Lisbon um, that I really enjoyed that's kind of like what I was hoping to get from this but um, yeah it was just like a page or two again um, so I yeah I'm feeling like I don't want to stop reading this necessarily, it's, it's nice writing and everything, but it's just, I don't think I'm getting anything from it, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do now, because it's 10pm, I'm, I'm going to brush my teeth, get into bed, and probably start the Saramago then, uh, because I, yeah, I have read like 30 pages of this right now, and that's enough, <laughs> that's enough for this uh, right now. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm a bit scared because in the introduction I have like read the first page of the prologue and it says that actually uh, Sarah Mago said that that book is really difficult to understand if you're not Portuguese or fully understand at least. Um, and I'm not Portuguese. So <laughs> we will see how much of that I get. But uh, yeah, I think I might start that tonight. Um, and then tomorrow I have uh, we have this baby gym activity thing in the morning with Alex um, and then in the afternoon there is a free um, ballet of the Nutcracker in the main theatre in our town um, and I kind of want to go because it's also for children but um, it's at 2 and Alex normally finishes her nap between 2.30 and 3 so I don't think we're gonna go make it but we might try i think we i have to go to the town anyway because i i need to um, do some errands um and when she's sleeping i want to install those uh, shelves uh, because they i have painted them so they will be dry tomorrow and i can install them tomorrow hopefully um yeah uh, that shouldn't take as long as like cutting them and sanding them and biting them so I think I will have a little bit more time during her nap to read um, and then also tonight um, and tomorrow night so 
we will see how it, I go but uh, yeah so far so good I think I'm making um, slow progress on this but I'm yeah I think I'm I'm making progress I'm halfway so um, we will see how I like the Saramago as well yeah that's, that's all for now I uh, guess I'll see you tomorrow I will try to be better at filming things tomorrow because I have been a bit crap of the like in between bits but um, yeah I'm not very used to uh, vlogging and it takes a lot of mental energy to be aware of the things that you might want to film and set up the camera and all of that so I will see how much I, I do tomorrow <laughs>
water sports section like sailing and stuff um but they do the same thing they may not have like the reflective stuff but they do the same thing so happy with that um and yeah that's that's all for now i don't know when i will update you next because when my week starts it tends to be busy and i don't have the energy or the time to update again but let's hope that doesn't happen this week um and i can update you on these books um soon hello everyone so it's wednesday today it has been again a few days but it was a busy couple of days and today i'm unexpectedly working from home um and there was a plumber that had to come do some work in the house so i had to be home so i'm working from home i spent the whole morning um reading papers while <laughs> they did noise in the garden so that's uh that's fun but uh, that's done now. I'm in my lunch break um, and I just came back from the supermarket actually. The weather is terrible. But um, I thought I would update you on this uh, because I'm almost there. I'm on page 436. Um, so I think I have 120, 130 pages left of this. And I would love to finish it today but realistically I think it's going to be tomorrow because yeah, I'm having reading about 50, 60 pages a day in the last few few days, so I don't think I can blast through this. But uh, yeah, I'm almost there. I am enjoying some parts a little bit more because towards the middle it starts being more like whole pages um, rather than like snippets of, uh, of paragraphs, which uh, yeah, I'm enjoying more and there's also a little bit about Lisbon, but yeah, I think overall my, my thoughts have not changed on this much. Um, but yeah, I think I'm almost there. And uh, yeah, I haven't picked up this one either because uh, I was not reading enough to justify going back and forth. Um, and now I'm so close that I just want to finish it. So I think I'm going to try power through as much as I can today. Probably finish it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my update on the book. Not much to say. Um, on uh, live news, um, yeah, I still have to work for a few hours. Um, but since I am home and uh, I'm alone at home, which hardly ever happens because whenever I'm home, Alex is with me most of the time. When Alex is not home, I'm either with her or I'm working. So, yeah, it's very rare occurrence that I'm home alone. And I think I'm going to take like... 20 minutes or something to clean the house because it's so much easier to do when she's not here like vacuum cleaning windows that kind of stuff um so i think i'm gonna also take a few minutes to do that on my lunch break and yeah then continue working and maybe i will be able to read a little bit of this when i'm doing something that requires um not so much brain energy or me waiting five minutes here five minutes there so that is my plan um yeah and then tomorrow again i'm not working tomorrow because it's thursday um but uh some uh some friends might be coming to to the city and then i will show them around um so yeah i don't know how much i will read i don't know how much i will update you but um i will let you know tomorrow so yes Hello everyone, so it's Thursday, it's almost 7 in the morning and I just woke up um, but I thought I will come and update you because I did finish uh, Libre del Desasosiego by Pessoa last night and yeah, my thoughts have not changed much, I think it was very episodic and very disjointed and I didn't really see what the great point of this was and maybe, I think maybe he was just not expecting to be published because um, it's, it just reads like his diary and someone found it and decided to publish it like this and yeah, I, it, there are some interesting bits here and there but overall it's just nothing that is like um, a message or there's nothing to grip, there is nothing, yeah, there's nothing about this that makes me want to read it again or anything. Um, although I did enjoy the writing, that was very good and that makes sense because Pessoa is a poet 
Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Um, but I do think that it was good to read it so that I can read this one now with a lot more context. As I said, I have read one chapter of this already and the um, the Pessoa book does give context to this, so um, I'm glad that I have read it so that I can get something a little bit more from this. Um, but yeah, I will continue reading this throughout the vlog uh, and see how we go. Um, I think now I'm going to get dressed and get breakfast ready for when Alex wakes up, which is probably going to be soon. Um, and then we'll just go to the swimming pool, come back, have lunch, and then she normally goes for her nap and I can start reading a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. night it's about 8 30 alexis has gone to sleep and i just thought i would update you on my progress on uh, the year of the death of ricardo reyes today um so i have actually read a lot alex had a ridiculously long nap so i was able to read a lot and i am page 159 now so i'm almost halfway which i didn't expect <laughs> um and it's going well i'm really enjoying um i think the there is a lot of um, little puns and things in the book and I understand why at the beginning it said like if you're not Portuguese you probably don't get all of it and I I, I didn't get some of the references but because I am Spanish and we have similar cultures and similar histories and because I know Portuguese people I, I am aware of enough of the puns that do make um, the book enjoy enjoyable um and yeah the the story is not like anything out of the world but i am enjoying the puns and i am enjoying the references and i am enjoying the book as a whole i think it's reading a lot faster than i expected so i'm definitely finishing this this week which is very exciting because only the 15th of the month today and i thought this vlog was going to take me the whole month but i don't think so i think i will finish this over the weekend um, so yeah, really enjoying it. Um, I'll update you next time when I have anything else to say. Hello everyone, so it is Sunday today um, and it's the afternoon, it's 2.15. I have been um, putting the shelves up that I, saw. I told you I didn't film it because I don't know, it's raining and um, I felt like I have already done the other three shelves, so it's just like a repeat. Uh, but I'll show you how everything looks like. Um, and yeah, Alex is asleep. Um, she slept about an hour ago, so probably I have like another hour to to do other things. I have been doing laundry, um, but I have been reading this the last few days. I'm in page 253, so I have about 100 pages left. Um, I'm hoping to finish it today, but I'm not sure actually because 100 pages is a decent amount to read in a day. So we will see if I finish this one or not. But I have been enjoying it a lot. Uh, it has gone a lot more political and in, there are some things that I haven't quite caught. Um, but there are other things that I'm fairly familiar with. Like there is a lot of talk about um, how it seems that Spain um, is getting into civil war and Portuguese people are uh, worried about that and a lot of Spanish people have gone to Portugal as refugees, stuff like that I'm quite familiar with and then there are other things that I'm less familiar with like uh, the rise to power from Salazar, I know that Salazar was a dictator until like 74 so I, I am familiar with the like the big picture but not the details and this is giving me some of the details and some of the references I don't get and some of them I do but overall I'm still liking it a lot um, I think the characters are very um, very engaging and yeah I'm, I'm really liking it in this I'm also glad that I read the Pessoa because Pessoa is a character in this book so I do get a lot more what he's doing um, than I would if I wouldn't have read that one um, so yeah I think I'm going to Continue reading this a little bit more. The weather is disgusting, 
but I might meet a friend in the library later. Um, we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. And I'll let you know when I finish the book. Hello everyone, so it's Tuesday morning, um, it's 6.30 um, and I wanted to update you because yesterday I did finish the year of the death of Ricardo Reyes um, and I really liked it. Um, so this is a story of Ricardo Reyes um, who is kind of like a um, friend slash double of Fernando Pessoa. Fernando Pessoa is dead but he comes back from the dead in this book and he like talks with um, Ricardo Reyes. Um, and we follow kind of two things. We follow Ricardo Ray's like love affairs <laughs> and we follow um, the change in the atmosphere in Portugal because this is 36. So that's the year that the Spanish Civil War happened and also Salazar in Portugal um, raised to power. Um, and so we follow those kind of things. Also there's uh, some uh, political revolution um, going on in Brazil, which is also mentioned because Ricardo Reis is Portuguese but he lived in, in um, Brazil for a really long time and then he came back to um, to Portugal in this book, at the beginning of this book. Um, and so we have a lot of that atmosphere, we have um, Spanish refugees, um, right-wing refugees uh, at the beginning of the book because um, in 1936, um, the Communist Party won the elections in Spain, so they all flew to Portugal and then eventually Franco rise against the elections and that's how the Civil War happened. Um, and so we followed that quite a bit actually and we also follow like the own Portuguese politics getting that same um, fascist route um, and it was very interesting. I thought that the... Um, the tone of the book was a little bit off because um, the love affairs of Ricardo Reyes are there I think to make the whole scenario a little bit lighter, or a little bit quirkier um, and I'm sure that, I'm not sure how that worked, I think um, it was a good idea because otherwise it would have been too heavy but um, yeah I don't know if um, if it was a bit too much uh, of that of that side of things, but overall I liked it. It's very conversational and it's I found it very easy to read, even though you know lots of text text everywhere. Um, that didn't normally in Saramago I find that kind of difficult, but in this one for whatever reason I didn't. Um, I just wanted to keep reading and it was very easy to go through. So I'm really happy I finished this. I'm really happy I liked it. Uh, and I'm also happy that I read the Pessoa before this one so that I had a little bit more of context uh, for this book as well um, even though the Pessoa was not such a win for me um, but yeah that's uh, also the amount of books that I wanted to read in this vlog I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have read any of these books if you have any more thoughts on Portuguese culture and Portuguese um, yeah Portuguese um, like politics and history. Uh, I would love to like catch on more details because I am sure that um, I have like I was conscious that some of the things that in this book I was not getting because I didn't have the cultural context and the historical context um, but I think I did get enough because I have enough of the context so um, yeah let me know if you want to discuss any of this and until next video bye <laughs>